us are always looking for the convenience factor when it comes to portable breakfasts and snacks, maybe especially for our kids. And we have one you can make yourself very easily. Erin Clark is here once again. Her food blog, The Law Student's Wife, has become pretty popular. You were featured recently in Cosmo Magazine mm -hmm. and Huffington Post. Yeah, it's been very exciting. Very cool. So some of those recipes on there um, being nationally shows, shown. This one mm -hmm. is a really cool oatmeal breakfast bar. Tell us yes. about it. So this is one of my favorite on-the-go breakfast and snacks at oatmeal breakfast bars with peanut butter, banana, and honey. And I love these. One, because I love peanut butter and banana. <laughs> and then also they are super filling. These bars keep me going all morning, and they're incredibly easy to make. Which so is like, really you just need, you're telling me you just need like two bowls and a spatula. Yep, and that's, that's it, and the ingredients. all your equipment. Okay. So we're going to start off with, here's our first bowl, bowl number one. This has our dry ingredients. It's whole wheat flour oatmeal and then a little bit of cinnamon for some extra flavor. Okay. And these bars are 100% whole grain, so that's part of what makes them so filling. And then what's in the second bowl? This is the wet Yes. Stuff. So bowl number two is our wet ingredients, and this is milk, unsweetened applesauce, which is actually one of my favorite ingredients for healthy baking in general. Gets rid of that fat content, doesn't yes, it? Yes, yeah. but it still makes the bar super moist. We have an egg, which binds the bars and adds a little extra protein. Okay. Peanut butter. So tasty and even more protein. I wasn't kidding when I said these bars were filling. So did you just blend that all together? Yeah, what just, did you do? I just whisked milk, okay. the egg, the peanut butter, and then the last two things are a little bit of honey and a little bit of vanilla for sweetness. Okay. And that is it. That's all of the batter. And you just mix it all together. Yep. And then you add the bananas. Yes. So I'm adding half of a diced banana here. But if you aren't crazy about bananas or you don't have any at home, you can really throw in whatever you like, try other nuts, try dried fruits, try a handful of chocolate chips, that's my favorite. <laughs> that sounds good, and then you just put it in there and we bake these, huh? Yep, so you pour it right into your pan. I've lightly sprayed this with cooking spray just to make sure the bars don't stick. Smooth it out, and then in half an hour, you have these thickened, golden, and delicious breakfast bars. And, and they smelled amazing. Wow, look who and, showed and up. And look oh, who hi. showed up. Hey. Brian wanted to try one. Please to. dig in. Right. <laughs> they look great. It looks easy. They're and it's so, very easy. Yes, they're so hearty. They have that wonderful peanut butter banana flavor. Oh, yeah. Mm, very good. Very yeah. good. So you're good to I'm go sorry. for the rest of your day. Mm -hmm. Aaron, thank you so much. Yeah, all right, thank yeah. you. They look really, it feels like it is going to be filling, and I'm not going to, that's all right. I need for breakfast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, well, if you want that recipe, head to WKOW.com. We'll have a link to the Law Student's Wife blog where you can find that and some other great ideas from Aaron Clark. Aaron, thanks so much. Yeah, thank it. you. Okay, we'll be back to wrap things up right after this. <laughs>